coverage you can count on does begin with Georgia's heated race for governor. Republican Brian Kemp there taking on Democrat Stacey Abrams, a race that's not only big in the Peach State, it's making national headlines. News Channel 6 is your election headquarters for everything all across the Peach State. We're going to kick things off live in Athens, Georgia, with UGA grad Ashley Osborne covering Kemp's campaign. Ashley? Yep, and ran into another one and said it is good to be home here in Athens. As you can see, the ballroom behind me empty. The festivity is supposed to start in about two hours, around 7 o'clock. Brian Kemp here with his family. They voted earlier today. You can see them walking up to that polling place in Winterville, Georgia. That is a small town outside of Athens. His middle daughter, Lucy, now 18, it's her first time voting. She cast her ballot for her dad. Kemp stayed in his role as Georgia Secretary of State while he ran something that's been critical criticized by those who oppose him. In his role as Secretary of State, he had to deal with multiple lawsuits related to voting. When asked to comment on accusations of suppressing votes, Kemp answered strongly denying those claims. He said it's never been easier to vote in the state of Georgia. When asked if he would go back and change anything about his campaign, Kemp said, nope, he'd do it all the same. What the Democrats wanted me to do is to resign from office. Then they would have blamed me for all these you know, bogus things that they're blaming me for now, saying that I left office. I took an oath to serve the people of this state. I took an oath and had pledged in my campaigns when I've run for Secretary of State to have secure, accessible, fair elections in Georgia. We make it easy to vote and hard to cheat. And poll numbers show Brian Kemp and his opponent Stacey Abrams neck and neck. But when I talked to Kemp yesterday, he said they're not concerned with the poll numbers. He said the people are the polls. They are just focused on voter turnout. He acknowledged today that we have had record numbers in voter turnout for the midterms. Live in Athens, Georgia, Ashley Osborne, WJBF News Channel 6.